Well, tonight the House of Blues has been transformed into a political who's who. Everyone is there, from the governor to the attorney general. They're in the house showcasing their talents for a good cause. Our Alicia Palumbo is also in the house. Alicia, is this a fun night? It totally was, LaToya and John. They sang, they danced, they acted. Frankly, I didn't know many of these politicians and local celebrities had it in them. So here's a look at the show. I've been out searching to bring home jobs. I've not been shirking for this state. My heart still throbs. No, Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick hasn't picked up a second job as a lounge singer. He's just one of the many politicians and local celebrities who entertained the crowd at this year's Band in Boston show. Mikey, my boy! Oh, my brother! Who did this to you, Mikey? Oh, my, my, it's the frickin' McNulty brothers. U.S. Senator Scott Brown teamed up with his former opponent, Attorney General Martha Coakley, to spoof a movie mashup of The Fighter meets Goodwill Hunting meets The Departed. Ma, ma, they, they, they stole my pocket space. His pocket space! So, the one you shoveled and put your chair in? Yeah, ma. So it's good to see a lot of uh, competitors and, and uh, kind of people who may not agree on everything, but tonight we agree on everything. Everybody here tonight will do things tonight they would never do under any other occasions. Um, it's, it's people being silly for a very good reason. Boston Mayor Tom Menino played an unlikely speech therapist for Congressman Barney Frank. You think that's funny, huh? <laughs> Even Aerosmith bassist Tom Hamilton channeled sudden pop icon Charlie Sheen. Uh, uh, tiger blood. Uh, uh, winning, winning. Duh, winning. My heart is pounding a lot harder right now than, than uh, it is sometimes when I go on stage. All the improbable actors on the House of Blues stage were a little nervous, but they're all up there for a good cause, raising money for the group Urban Improv to try to prevent youth violence. It's totally humiliating, but everybody is a great sport about it. And the governor brought the house down tonight, so maybe he does have a second job as a lounge singer. Who knows? And this all was for a good cause, Urban Improv. This is their biggest fundraiser of the year. They're hoping to raise about half a million dollars tonight to help prevent youth violence. LaToya? Well, I mean, I'm so impressed with how the governor sang. I can't believe he has a voice like that. He has a future. He yeah, he does. He may. He was so nervous beforehand, as were many of these politicians, local celebrities. This is something that they've either never done before, maybe just do once a year, and they had a